this is like if I took an animal and put it in a cage and so the animal couldn't grow well and then I'll say oh look at this deformed animal do, do you see I don't say I made this creature deformed because of the conditions that I subjected him or her to and the very fact that in other words the logic in my view if you felt that blacks were genetically inherently inferior you can give them the very best of conditions and they would not be able to perform or function you see but the need to deprive you know at the same time that people are saying oh it's cold outside make sure your dog is in make sure your dog gets all the nutrients for growth and development because you're not fearful that the dog is going to take over the human beings. Do you see? But once you start depriving systematic deprivation, it means, well, I must be afraid of these people maybe overtaking me if I allow them the same conditions, opportunities that I set forth for myself. If you get 10 of them in here in a room, all 10 of them will have a lot of differences about where the civilization started, what we did, who did it and where, okay? White people agree on their history, even if it's a lie, they agree on it. Patrick Henry, they agree on that, you know, Marco Polo, whoever it is, they agree, yep, that's what he did. Yep, that's what they did. They don't have a, a, a argument about what the truth is. They just came together, decided on what the history is gonna be, and then that's what they accept it, and that's what they teach their children, and that's what they teach our children. It's not hating white people, not wanting to do to white people what they have done to black and other people of color, but to replace the system of racism, white supremacy, with a system of justice so that there can be peace on the planet.